But anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am very uh, proud that I can uh, introduce you to our uh, young uh, foundation. So on, on behalf of, of Edward Lipinski Foundation for promoting uh, economic pluralism, I would like to say welcome to all of you who attend this conference, this all virtual Poznan conference on Kalecki and Kaleckian economics. We are very proud that this conference can take place in 2020 despite the world pandemic. And uh, this year uh, marks the 15th anniversary of the death of distinguished Polish economist, Michał Kalecki, whose work uh, many of us uh, admire. So I hope that uh, wherever you are, uh, whatever your time zone, uh, that you will enjoy this conference, that you will enjoy our many great speakers uh, who are uh, virtually virtually around the world and uh, very near <laughs> very near to us uh, uh, but not uh, not in the in a, uh, physical way uh, I would like to say uh, a few more words about uh, the foundation uh, which is a, a young organization because uh, we were, uh, it, it was established a year ago uh, before the outburst of, of covid pandemic uh, so this is the first big event that we, we help to uh, organize and we, we hope that this is uh, not our last one. And uh, the, what, is the, the reason, what is the reason, what is the main reason uh, why we established this foundation? So the main reason is that we believe that the dominant neoclassical uh, school of economics is simply not good enough. We believe that this uh, wind of change uh, in the form of pluralism is needed to help this discipline to, to flourish, to, to move for, forward. So we, we don't perceive the economy as a closed uh, mechanical system which behaves in the, in the fashion of, uh, of Newtonian world of mechanics. Uh, we don't believe in the economics as, the, as a study which, uh, that should be based on, on 19th century physics. Uh, on the other hand, we believe in the study of economy as an open system, as an as a open system with interacting social creatures. Uh, we, we believe in the economics as a study, as a social study that needs to be treated as a multidimensional uh, organism where relations between uh, human beings are, are the essential ones and the, the relation between human uh, people and, and, and environment is the, the most essential one. So, so uh, that, that is our vision. And I think that's the, the, the vision that many of us here share, uh, shared here. Uh, so le let me uh, also say uh, that, the, that the vision uh, we share is, is, uh, is on, also rooted in the works of many post-Keynesian authors. And, more, uh, and not only post-Keynesian, but more, uh, we can say broadly heterodox authors. Uh, so for example, I, uh, let me quote here, uh, Hyman Minsky uh, in his book, in his uh, 1986 book uh, called Stabilizing an Unstable Economy. He stated that uh, in all disciplines, theory plays a double role. It is both a lens and a blinder as a lens it focuses the mind upon specif specified problems, but as a bl blinder, theory narrows the field of vision. So questions that are meaningful in the world are often nonsense questions within a theory. If such nonsense questions are often posed by development, developments in the world, then the discipline is ripe for a revolution in theory. Such a revolution, however, requires the development of new instruments of thought. This is difficult intellectual process, unquote. So we believe in this vision. So uh, we believe that there are some important questions, crucial question for how we live now, that uh, question about how our society should be organized that remain unanswered and most likely unans unanswerab unanswerable, sorry, uh, within the standard neoclassical theory. So this theory is not simply wrong, but it's not good enough. It is, it is not good enough to address the new question, the new, new challenges that we are facing now. And, and these new, uh, this, this, this new questions, we need to have more pluralistic attitudes and more pluralistic uh, approaches to economics to, 
to solve them. So uh, what, what questions I'm talking about? Like, for example, why there is this inherent instability of capitalism? Second question, why, why the wealth and income inequalities are rising so fast? Why there is so little uh, women in the, in the economic uh, departments uh, at the universities? Why we, uh, why we uh, uh, seemingly we cannot pr prevent climate change that is threatening our existence on this, on this planet? So this, these are the types of questions that we can answer using different theories. Like for example, we can uh, use a Marxist theory, we can use Minskian uh, financial model, we can use Keynesian macroeconomic model based on, on uh, principle of uh, effective demand. Or finally, we can use the Kaleckian model of, of growth and distribution. Uh, so so that's, that's the, the pluralistic vision that we have. And, and uh, we, we hope that we can uh, spread it uh, also in Poland, uh, the, the, the country where, where Kalecki was born. Uh, and this, this idea, uh, our main goal is to promote pluralism uh, of perspectives and pluralism of approaches. And so we identify three ways by which we can achieve this goal. And these three ways are, are connected to the um, person and to the character of Edward Lipinski, who is our uh, patron, who is uh, our mentor, who was also a man of action. He was a mover, he was organizer, he, he was a manager. He was very active on many fronts. Uh, and, and crucially for Kalecki, he was he was his teacher and master. He was the, the, uh, mm, the president of, of a research institute of business cycles and, and prices. And uh, at this uh, research institute, Kalecki, young economist uh, and unknown to anybody could flourish and could develop himself with, with real, uh, real data, with empirical data. And so that was the, the, mm, the big contribution of of Edward Lipinski. So he created this space, he created the institution that he ran for uh, over 10 years. Uh, so not only he created uh, many institutions in Poland in be, before the Second World War, but he, he was also the chief editor of leading Polish uh, economic journal, Economista, for almost 50 years. So for almost 50 years, he was chief editor of this, this big uh, journal. Uh, moreover, for over 30 years, he was the president of the Polish Economic Society, Polskie Towarzystwo Ekonomiczne in Polish, uh, who, is the, uh, uh, who, who is also the, the, the partner of this uh, conference, and, and we are very proud of it. And uh, Edward Lipinski was also professor at both the University of Warsaw and the Warsaw School of Economics. So uh, he was a teacher and a mentor he was, uh, he was the person that discovered the talent, the economic talent that lied in this young and unknown uh, economist, Michał Kalecki. Uh, so so what, are our, what are our goals? So the, the three main goals of uh, Lipinski Foundation uh, uh, are uh, as follows. Firstly, we want to increase awareness of, of the heterodox authors and of the heterodox uh, traditions that, uh, that have mostly contributed to the development of economic thought. And, and the, we, we want to teach people about this, these authors that mostly contributed uh, to, the, to the vision, to the ideas that we all share. Uh, secondly, we want to pursue this mission of, of spreading pluralism by creating a platform and, a sub, and support for uh, for the people that teach heterodox approaches and who and who do research in this uh, tradition, I, I will give some examples uh, later. Uh, and thirdly, uh, we want to uh, exactly uh, do exactly the same thing as as that Edward Lipinski. So we want to discover new economic talents uh, within broad broad economic uh, discipline both uh, orthodox and, or, uh, and also heterodox. So, uh, so that, that is our three main uh, ideas that, that, we want put, that we want to put forward. Um, and and uh, 
And Edward Lipinski, so, so as I said, he discovered this talent, this young uh, ta uh, talented person um, in uh, 1928 uh, and uh, 1930s when he hired him to this research in institute, but he actually uh, didn't fully understand uh, the, the theory that, that uh, Kalecki developed. Uh, and, and I have a nice quote uh, from um, uh, Edward Lipinski. He, he wrote in his uh, 1971 obituary on Michał Kalecki that it gives me a feeling of pride to recall that Kalecki theory of the trade cycle emerged before my very eyes, if not actually under my observation. This may be a good occasion to acknowledge, frankly, that I did not under fully understand Kalecki's discovery until Keynes' similar theory had, uh, had made the basis for effective stimulation of market forces. However, uh, wrote, uh, wrote uh, Lipinski, it did not take me long to recognize Kalecki as an independent theorist with a formidable gift of deduction who deserved to be supported. But outside a small group of friends, such as Ludwig Landau, Antoni Pański, and later Marek Breit, Kalecki was not understood. So, so unquote. So that's, that's the observation of, uh, uh, of, of Edward Lipinski. So even he, uh, uh, as, as, this, uh, as this big mentor, as a big uh, economist, he didn't fully understand uh, the 1933 uh, uh, piece of Kalecki, this famous piece in Polish, this Pluba uh, Teori Konjunktur. So this is this essay on, on the trade uh, uh, theory that he developed. Uh, so let me also give you here one, my, uh, one of uh, my personal experience uh, in teaching Kalecki in Poland. So, so the main thing is that we don't teach Kalecki in Poland. We don't teach Kalecki and economics in Poland. Uh, I spent, I spent uh, five years studying uh, economics at, at the University of Warsaw and was only taught once about, about Kalecki and it was uh, during uh, uh, advanced differential equations course and it was a mathematician who told me oh and there was this this guy Michał Kalecki he was Polish and he he developed these ideas before Keynes and he was really sophisticated mathematician and that was it that was that's what that that was it so five minutes and and uh, and nothing more so imagine that's this situation. Imagine this situation that, that you live in uh, Great Britain and you, you are studying economics in Britain and be never exposed to Keynes or Keynesian uh, macroeconomics. So that, that situation uh, we want to really change and, and we want to um, incentivize people, incentivize teachers, um, academic teachers to, to also teach heterodox authors such as Kalecki. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, three, three more examples of what we are doing in uh, what we are what we are planning to do uh, as a foundation. So first of all, we want to organize uh, conferences and uh, summer schools. Um, for example, uh, next year in September, we are uh, we are planning to organize ICE, uh, MMT summer school uh, in September, and also we are planning to do workshops. Um, for, for high school and college uh, students and for undergraduate students, uh, but also for journalists and market pr practitioners. Uh, okay, and the second uh, field of activity is our editorial and publishing activity. So the heterodox publishing house uh, uh, about which Louis Philippe said that we are Edward Elgar in the Polish, uh, in the Polish, Polish market. So uh, this heterodox publishing house is a part of, of our foundation. And uh, so far we have published 10 uh, Polish translations of, of uh, big game-changing uh, game uh, books, including uh, A Companion to Marx Capital by David Hervey, Rethinking Economics, uh, An Introduction to Pluralist Economics by Lillian Fisher, Joe Hassel, and Christopher Proctor, also debunking economics by Steve Keen. We also published uh, in Polish uh, modern, money, uh, modern Money Theory, a primer by Randall Ray. Uh, also the Entrepreneurial State by Mariana Mazzucato. And uh, finally, uh, 
Red Rosa, a graphic biography of Rosa Luxemburg by Kate Evans. So, so that's our second field of activity. And the third one is, is uh, to paraphrase the title of Professor, Professor Shatinsky talk, Remembering Kalecki. So the third uh, activity is to, to, um, to try to, um, to, to make this uh, uh, public sphere, the public domain, uh, more, more aware of, of our great Polish thinkers. So in order to remember uh, Kalecki's teachings and Kalec Kalecki's significant uh, contributions to economics, we plan to mark his legacy by building uh, his memorial in his hometown uh, city of Łódź. Uh, it is planned to be Kalecki's bench to honor his life and his legacy. So lastly, we also aim to establish Michał Kalecki uh, Prize in economics for the best essay and the best academic uh, thesis in the field of heterodox economics. So these are our goals and this is our vision. To, uh, so uh, to sum up, uh, the, vision, uh, the mission of our foundation is to promote economic pluralism and our patro patron is Edward Lipinski. We want, we want to be as good organizers as he was, as good teachers as he was, and as deep believers in the human creative potential as he was. Because after all, um, the chief characteristic of, of uh, Edward Lipinski was that uh, he was deep humanistic, uh, humanist. So he was uh, deep uh, humanistic economist and he believed in, uh, in people's creativity. So uh, let, let me uh, end this talk by, by his quote. So this is uh, where he wrote in one of his memoir, uh, quote, economics is the science of social life. And in particular, in one of the most critical areas, human creativity. Because all innovations and changes in the economic sphere are the same sort of creativity as artistic creation. It is impossible to solve any economic problems without referring to the broad context of the humanities. So that, that, was, uh, that was Edward Lipinski. So let me now uh, end this talk uh, with this message from Edward Lipinski Foundation. And thank you for your attention. And I hope you will enjoy uh, the rest of the conference.